there she is, there she is. Look at that. Look at that stalk. Now, I saw a dike just sort of walking calmly, feeding. I don't think it spotted her. I've lost sight of the dike had moved into the thickets there. And she is literally moving a muscle at a time. Look how she's flattened her ears. Now, leopards are incapable of incredible bursts of speed, about 24 meters per second. And you can only keep that up for about five meters or six meters or so. So they generally have to be very close before they pounce. But just from the way her body's moving, I think she could be quite close to pouncing. See how she almost seems to be coiling. Look, 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 look. A There's a slender mongoose there as well. But I don't know if that, I don't think that's what she's hunting. There she goes. She's got the diker. She got it, you heard that. Let's get in there. She's got it, she's got it, she's got it. So it's the same diker we saw her stalking. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Go well done, Queen Karula. And so you see how she grabbed it quickly. She had to stop that distress call. And that distress call will, will bring in any other predators. So like hyenas. And you saw that incredible speed. Now, sorry guys, I know this is distressing for some of you. If you are a little bit of sensitive, uh, please don't watch. Um, what you can do is just turn off for now, especially don't listen to the sound uh, if the diker does start making a noise. But this is nature, and uh, that diker is going to provide a meal for Karula and her two cubs. And Brent from Canada was just asking, do we ever see leopards take down animals? Well, there we go, Brent. Right now, uh, a brand new viewer. You're very lucky. We don't get to see this very often. Yes, as Vim said, she, she hasn't got the best grip on it, so it might get away, but I think she's got, those canines will sink into the, the vertebra there. So let's see if we can go a little bit forward, Vim. In my excitement, I caught a stump. There we go. Let's uncatch the stump. Now you're going to hear a little click click, I'm just going to take a quick photo or two.
As I said, I know this could be distressing for some of you, uh, but this is nature and this is live, so we cannot script what happens and just be feel very privileged that we're lucky enough to see this is not something people get to see very, very often. Now, another exciting thing is that because she's caught this, she's going to bring the cubs back here. She's dragging it straight towards us. Look at that, she's pulling it right in front of our vehicle. Isn't this incredible? Now, she's right on the edge of the Mawachi River. There's wonderful places for her to be able to hoist this kill now. See the Daika is still alive, but the kicking is becoming a little bit less frantic. Now, Cat in Tampa is wondering why she doesn't use her paws and claws. Well, Cat, with a small prey like this, it's, it's not necessary. She might have to let go and change. And you'd be amazed at how some of these would be able to escape. There she goes again. Okay. I'm pretty sure she's going to take it up a tree around here. We're going to stick with her. Let's wait and see. You can see those kicks getting a little bit more feeble. It's nearly over. Isn't this incredible? This is not something people get to see ever. Uh, and we're lucky enough to share this with you live from the middle of the African bush. Wherever you might be, you've just seen the queen of Juma, Karula. And she's still just um, waiting for it to stop kicking, I think, before she drags it. Uh, I think it'd be a good idea to wait in the drainage line below. That there's a lot of nice jackalberries there she might hoist into. Okay, there we go, she's dragging it again. Let me see where she goes. She's going back. VM said she's changed direction. I've got a bit of a problem with the vehicle there. Yep, lost it. Sorry guys. I've got a I'm not sure what's happening with my tire. Okay, so it looks like she dragged that into this little drainage system here.
afraid my, my car is not going to be able to move for a bit. I need to actually have a look what's wrong with it. So she's taking it in there somewhere. I think that's exactly what happened. I think we might have bent a steering rod and I can't turn. I just need to have a look. Is that wheel turning at all? It's standing like that. Yeah, this one's standing like that. Unfortunately, we can't move the vehicle without risk of actually damaging it quite seriously. Um, <laughs> not much I can say. <laughs> it does happen. We are alive in the middle of the bush and steering rods, they put them in silly places. But we did get to see Karula take down a diker. <laughs> um, I got an outro plan, what I'm going to do next. Let me just say, what are we going to take leave? Um, sorry about this guys. Um, we're gonna try and get sorted as quickly as possible. Uh, how, I'm not quite sure yet. What we can do is maybe ask Alex to bring out Wendy um, and, and we'll try and make a plan from there. We might have to tow this vehicle. Actually, we might have to, I don't know what we're going to do. We might not be able to tow this vehicle with braking. We, we, might, we might need to bring a trailer. Uh, okay, but we, we're going we're gonna to figure all this stuff out. Hopefully we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, I'm afraid we're going to have to go across to Tech Loop.